When new regression data is created, an empty geometry complex is also created with it. This complex includes both horizontal and vertical elements. As you add new elements to your design, that can be an arc, spiral, or a line, these will automatically be added to that complex, which has a special relationship to your regression points. As a result, as you are adding elements, the slew values will automatically be updated. This also means that as you are manipulating your geometry in any way that you like, that can be using manipulators or something as simple as changing a radius of an arc, the slews will automatically be updated. You can also use different tools together. You can do some part of your geometry with using normal regression tools and then some other part using quick regression. The result will be the same. The geometries that are created will be automatically added to the complex. When it comes to vertical, all that I just described also applies. When you create a new element, this element will automatically add it this time to the vertical complex. And again, these elements can be manipulated as required. And in turn, the slews will be updated. You can use multiple tools to further edit your geometry. You can add spirals with using normal spiral tool or you can use geometry connector to create connections. And as you can see, all of these will update your slew values. Or you can do more precise edits with using a tool such as table editor. You can even use tools like complex redefine. And as this is just a normal geometry, they will all be working with the new regression workflow. This new complex also acts as a container to attach your Kant alignment, which is also integrated into the regression workflow.